In this video, we are going to discuss example 21. Determine the term's independence of x in the following binomial expansion. Term's independence of x refer to x to the power of 0. Question A, x squared minus 3 over x squared to the power of 10. We will work out this question in four steps. Step 1. Let us find a, b, and n by comparing x squared minus 3 over x squared to the power of 10 with a plus b to the power of n. Here, we clearly see that a is equal to x squared, b is negative 3 over x squared, and n refer to the power number which is 10. Step 2. Substitute a, b and n into the r plus 1 terms formula. Please refer the formula over here. We have tr plus 1 is equal to 10 choose r x squared to the power of 10 minus r negative 3 over x squared to the power of r. Now, simplify this expression. Here, 2 times with 10 minus r is 20 minus 2r. And for this part, we are going to rewrite negative 3 over x squared become negative 3 x to the power of negative 2. Now, we are going to split this. We have negative 3 to the power of r, x to the power of negative 2r. Next, apply the rules of indices for this part in order to get the single x. So please remember, when we multiply the indices, we just add the power together. So x to the power of 20 minus 2r plus negative 2r. And we have 10 choose r negative 3 to the power of r x to the power of 20 minus 4r. Step 3. To find the value of r, we are going to compare x to the power of 20 minus 4r with x to the power of 0. We have 20 minus 4r equal to 0, 4r equal to 20, therefore r equal to 5. Last step, step 4. Substitute r equal to 5 into the r plus 1 terms formula in step 2. We have t5 plus 1 is equal to 10 choose 5, negative 3 to the power of 5, x to the power of 0. So t6 is equal to negative 61,200. 36. So this means terms independence of x is negative 61,236. Let's move on to question B. Same as previous question, we will work out this question in four steps. Step 1. We are going to find a, B, and N by comparing x squared minus 2 over x squared to the power of 8 with A plus B to the power of N. 
Here, we clearly see that A is x squared, B is negative 2 over x squared, and N is 8. Step 2. Substitute A, B and N into the R plus 1 terms formula. Please refer the formula over here. We have TR plus 1 is equal to 8 choose R x square to the power of 8 minus R negative 2 over x square to the power of R. Now, Simplify this expression. Here, multiply 2 with 8 minus r is 16 minus 2r. And for this part, rewrite negative 2 over x squared become negative 2 x to the power of negative 2. Now, we are going to split this. So we have negative 2 to the power of r times with x to the power of negative 2r. Next, apply the rules of indices for this part in order to get the single x. So, when involve multiplication of two indices, we just add the power together. So we have x to the power of 16 minus 2r plus minus 2r. So here we have x to the power of 16 minus 4r. Step 3. To find the value of r, we are going to compare x to the power of 16 minus 4r with x to the power of 0. We have 16 minus 4r equal to 0, 4r equal to 16, therefore r equal to 4. And last step, step 4, we are going to substitute r equal to 4 into the r plus 1 terms formula in step 2. So t4 plus 1 is equal to 8 choose 4, negative 2 to the power of 4, x to the power of 0. We have t5 is equal to 1,120. So this means the term's independence of x is 1,120. Well, that's it. Thank you.